Hello! Giant Boy Detective here, and I am going to show you one of the first levels in Shovel Knight, which comes out tomorrow, the 26th of June. And we're going to go to the lair of King Knight. And I'm going to kind of do like a speedrun type thing where I kind of just get through the level. I don't want to show off too many secrets. It's more fun if you get to discover them than if I uh, just show you. So, as you can see, I can use my shovel to shovel large piles of dirt or giant bugs and when it comes to things like this I I can't shovel them very well so I have to jump and uh, give it the old Scrooge McDuck and then I get hit by a unicorn with wheels classic uh, I got about five uh, life orbs up top there and each one uh, every time I'm hit it takes about a one half of them away so I can get hit about ten times and uh, of course, I can find uh, HP, potions, and things like that to uh, keep my life up. Then we have the propeller rats who uh, look like someone just kind of put them in a harness and they're just along for the ride. So they're annoyingly cute. Here's this nice swarm of them. Oh, whoops. Went down instead of over. This guy up top here, he knows what he's doing. Hit me with those fire blasts. Hop on his head a couple times. Now, as I said, I'm not going to show you too many of the uh, secrets in the levels because it's more fun to discover them yourself. But if you see something on the wall that looks kind of like this, you know, you're like, hey, look, a symbol. If you just shovel it, then chances are it's going to uh, deteriorate. Here's the first checkpoint, and the cool thing about checkpoints is you can just run by them, and that can be your checkpoint. Or you can destroy it, and you can get some sweet loot from it, which is great and terrible because now I can't go back to that checkpoint. It's, it's gone. I've destroyed it. So now if I die, I'll go back to the very start of the game. But if I get to the next checkpoint, it doesn't really matter. So it's kind of a gamble, and it's... Uh, it's, it's kind of fun until you die, and then you have to go all the way back. Which, I might. Well, there's the next checkpoint, so not a big deal. Just taking all sorts of damage here. So look, over there on the left hand side, there's a, a door that looks like it would fit my body perfectly. I wonder what could be in there. I don't know. You'll have to find out when you play the game. So I'm just going to take this ladder to the top here. Fight some uh, fire mages. Ah. Got another checkpoint and uh, jousting uh, zebra man. Gotta fight Buckbeak here, so I'm gonna stab him in the face a couple times with my trusty shovel. And he will explode into a bunch of riches and a turkey, which is great, because I could use a turkey. I, uh, I needed some help there. Then we have the uh, lethargic cover rats who will slowly attempt to get in my way. And they do a great job of it. more health here. Make sure these guys don't hit me. Haha! I usually don't bother with those guys unless I have to. They're they're pretty annoying. We have a magical book full of magical pages and uh Are pots that are spilling from the ceiling that can knock me down. Usually I die once or twice on uh, parts like this, but we'll see. Maybe I can make it through. Nope, I died. Which is good, I guess, because now you can see that uh, when you die, uh, you don't have a number of lives, so you don't lose lives. You just lose part of the money that you have collected. Uh, part of your gold just kind of floats there, which 
is great because you can get it back and it's terrible because sometimes when you fall down holes and stuff the money's just floating in that hole you know and you can't really get it because then you'd have to fall down a hole again so good and bad there we go I got, I got most of it back so that's that's what really matters get some uh, get some more turkeys get some more loot Get hit with chandeliers. Oh, there's a bomb. Don't need that. The little potions that I'm picking up are actually for uh, powering relics, and I haven't gotten any relics yet, so it's uh, it doesn't really affect me at the moment. All right. Yes. Another chicken or turkey. Some type of pheasant that I can feast upon. Alright, well. King Knight here, who is, guess what, a king and a knight, has taken over this castle. And he is fabul fabulously regal. And now I must destroy him, so we'll see. I would say most bosses killed me on their, on their first attempt. I fought King Knight twice before, so we, we shall see. He really uh, responds uh, to the hop and bop. It's a good way to get him. He tries to do these quick attacks. And he'll drop this uh, very dangerous confetti on you. Which you have to try to avoid. Which uh, doesn't seem to be uh, too hard in this case. Boom! One shovel. That's all it takes. And uh, you get quite a bit of cash from beating bosses. And you can replay through any of the boss levels over to try and do it faster. And the boss is always at the end for you to fight. So. Uh, that was it. That's my look at Shovel Knight. It will be coming out on June 26th. And uh, I've really enjoyed it. It's a fantastic game. GBD out.